Dinosaurs, the magnificent creatures that once roamed the Earth, continue to captivate our imagination and curiosity. These ancient reptiles dominated the planet for millions of years, evolving into a diverse array of shapes, sizes, and ecological niches. In this overview, we will delve into the fascinating world of dinosaurs, exploring their classification, habitats, adaptations, and eventual extinction. Dinosaurs belong to the group of reptiles known as archosaurs, which also includes crocodiles and birds. They emerged during the Mesozoic era, which is often referred to as the Age of Reptiles. The era is divided into three periods, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. During these periods, dinosaurs thrived in various habitats across the globe. One of the defining characteristics of dinosaurs is their stance. Unlike other reptiles, dinosaurs walked with an upright posture, which allowed them to move more efficiently and provided an advantage in hunting and gathering food. They had a wide range of body sizes, from the smallest dinosaurs, like the Compsognathus, to the colossal herbivores, such as the Brachiosaurus and the Argentinosaurus. Dinosaurs inhabited diverse environments, ranging from lush forests to open plains. Some dinosaurs were adapted to terrestrial life, while others ventured into aquatic habitats. They exhibited an impressive array of adaptations to suit their lifestyles. For instance, the Triceratops had a large frill and three horns, possibly used for defense or courtship rituals. The Velociraptor possessed sharp claws and a keen sense of agility, making it an effective predator. Dinosaurs can be broadly classified into two main groups, the Cerichia and the Ornithischia. The Cerichia, which includes well-known dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex and Brachiosaurus, were characterized by their lizard-like hips. On the other hand, the Ornithischia, which includes dinosaurs like Triceratops and Stegosaurus, had hips resembling those of birds. These magnificent creatures lived alongside other prehistoric animals, such as pterosaurs, flying reptiles, and marine reptiles like the plesiosaurs and ichthyosaurs. The ecosystems of the Mesozoic era were teeming with life, creating a complex web of predator-prey relationships and interspecies interactions. Despite their dominance, dinosaurs faced a catastrophic event that led to their eventual extinction. Around 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid impact occurred near the present-day Yucatan Peninsula, causing widespread devastation. The resulting environmental changes, including dust clouds, global wildfires, and a significant drop in temperature, had a profound impact on the Earth's ecosystems. This catastrophic event, known as the Cretaceous Paleogene KPG, extinction event, led to the extinction of not only dinosaurs but also many other plant and animal species. However, some lineages of dinosaurs managed to survive and evolve into what we now recognize as birds. Modern birds are considered the only living descendants of dinosaurs, carrying on the legacy of their prehistoric ancestors. Today, our understanding of dinosaurs continues to evolve as new discoveries are made and scientific techniques advance. Paleontologists tirelessly excavate fossils, study ancient ecosystems, and reconstruct the anatomy and behavior of these incredible creatures. Through their work, we gain valuable insights into the distant past and the remarkable diversity that once existed on our planet. The legacy of dinosaurs lives on through museums, educational programs, books, and movies that bring their world to life. They ignite our imagination, sparking curiosity about the Earth's history and the incredible forces that shaped life as we know it. In conclusion, dinosaurs were a diverse group of reptiles that inhabited the Earth for millions of years. They captivate our imagination with their incredible adaptations, vast range of sizes, and the mystery surrounding their extinction. Despite their demise, dinosaurs continue to fascinate us and serve as a reminder of the incredible diversity and wonder of the natural world. Approximately 66 million years ago, a cataclysmic event forever altered the course of life on Earth. This event, known as the Chicxulub impact, involved a colossal asteroid colliding with our planet, resulting in the mass extinction of the dinosaurs and numerous other species. 
In this overview, we will explore the impact and consequences of this momentous event. The Chicxulub impact is believed to have occurred near the present-day Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. It was an event of immense proportions, with the asteroid estimated to have been around 6 miles, 10 kilometers, in diameter. Upon impact, the energy released was equivalent to billions of atomic bombs, causing widespread devastation and triggering catastrophic environmental changes. The initial impact led to the immediate destruction of the surrounding area, causing massive earthquakes, tsunamis, and intense heat. The enormous energy released by the impact generated shockwaves that reverberated throughout the planet, setting off a chain of events that would ultimately lead to the extinction of the dinosaurs. One of the most significant consequences of the Chicxulub impact was the formation of a massive dust cloud that blanketed the atmosphere. The dust cloud, composed of fine particles and debris ejected into the atmosphere upon impact, obscured sunlight, plunging the planet into a prolonged period of darkness. This led to a sharp decrease in photosynthesis and disrupted the global food chain, as plants struggled to survive without adequate sunlight. Furthermore, the impact triggered widespread wildfires, as the intense heat and shockwaves ignited forests and vegetation. These wildfires released massive amounts of smoke, soot, and ash into the atmosphere, exacerbating the atmospheric darkness and further disrupting ecosystems. The prolonged darkness caused a dramatic drop in temperature, as sunlight was unable to reach the surface and warm the planet. This phenomenon, known as a nuclear winter-like effect, had severe consequences for both land and marine organisms. Cold temperatures, coupled with reduced food availability, put significant strain on organisms already struggling to survive in the aftermath of the impact. The combination of darkness, intense cold, and limited food resources had a devastating impact on the dinosaur populations. The herbivorous dinosaurs, which relied on abundant plant life for sustenance, were particularly affected. With plants unable to photosynthesize and provide sufficient nourishment, herbivorous dinosaurs faced starvation and dwindling populations. As the herbivorous dinosaurs suffered, so too did the carnivorous dinosaurs that depended on them for food. The disruption of the food chain created a ripple effect, causing a decline in predator populations as their primary food sources vanished. This catastrophic disruption ultimately led to the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs, marking the end of their reign on Earth. The aftermath of the Chicxulub impact also brought about significant geological changes. The intense heat and pressure generated by the impact caused the ejection of debris, including vaporized rock and asteroid fragments, into the atmosphere. This material eventually settled and formed a layer of sediment known as the KPG boundary, which serves as a geological marker for the mass extinction event. In recent years, scientific advancements and extensive research have shed further light on the Chicxulub impact and its consequences. The discovery of the impact crater, buried beneath layers of sediment, provided crucial evidence supporting the theory of an asteroid-induced mass extinction. This breakthrough has deepened our understanding of Earth's history and the complex interplay of geological and biological processes. In conclusion, the Chicxulub impact was a monumental event that forever changed the course of life on Earth. The colossal asteroid's collision triggered a series of cataclysmic events, including a dust cloud, darkness, wildfires, and extreme temperature fluctuations. These environmental disruptions led to the mass extinction of the dinosaurs and numerous other species, marking the end of the Mesozoic era and paving the way for the rise of new forms of life. The Chicxulub impact serves as a stark reminder of the fragility and resilience of life on our planet and the profound influence that cosmic events can have on shaping Earth's history. The Age of Dinosaurs, known as the Mesozoic Era, is divided into three distinct time periods, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. Each period spanned millions of years and brought significant changes to the Earth's landscapes and the evolution of dinosaurs. In this overview, we will explore these three time periods and the remarkable diversity of dinosaurs that inhabited them. The Triassic period, which occurred from approximately 251 to 201 million years ago, marked the beginning of the Mesozoic era. 
It was a time of transition and the emergence of new forms of life. The early dinosaurs that appeared during this period were relatively small and predominantly walked on two legs. They shared their environment with various reptiles, including crocodile-like creatures and early mammal ancestors. As the Triassic period progressed, dinosaurs began to diversify and adapt to different ecological niches. Herbivorous dinosaurs, such as the Platyosaurus, evolved to feed on vegetation, while carnivorous dinosaurs, like the Coelophysis, emerged as efficient predators. These early dinosaurs set the stage for the incredible diversity and dominance of dinosaurs that would follow in the subsequent periods. The Jurassic period, which occurred from approximately 201 to 145 million years ago, is often referred to as the Golden Age of Dinosaurs. It is renowned for the proliferation of gigantic herbivores and fearsome predators. The Jurassic landscapes were lush, with extensive forests and abundant plant life, providing ample food sources for the large herbivorous dinosaurs. Iconic dinosaurs from the Jurassic period include the mighty Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus, and Stegosaurus. These herbivores roamed the land, utilizing their long necks or formidable plates and spikes for various purposes, such as reaching high vegetation or defense against predators. Among the carnivorous dinosaurs, the Allosaurus and the fearsome Dilophosaurus were apex predators, preying on other dinosaurs and small mammals. The Jurassic period is also notable for the appearance of early birds and the rise of marine reptiles, such as the ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs. These marine creatures dominated the oceans, displaying adaptations that allowed them to swim with grace and capture their prey in the water. The final period of the Mesozoic era, the Cretaceous period, spanned from approximately 145 to 66 million years ago. It was a time of significant geological and biological changes, as well as the pinnacle of dinosaur diversity. The Cretaceous period witnessed the evolution of some of the most iconic dinosaurs in history. Large herbivorous dinosaurs thrived during the Cretaceous period, including the Triceratops, Hadrosaurs, and the titanic plant-eating sauropods like the Argentinosaurus. These colossal creatures roamed the landscapes, displaying a wide array of adaptations, from elaborate frills and horns to enormous body sizes. Carnivorous dinosaurs also reached new heights during the Cretaceous period. The ferocious Tyrannosaurus rex, with its massive size and powerful jaws, became one of the most fearsome predators of all time. The Spinosaurus, with its sail-like back and long snout, dominated the rivers and lakes, showcasing a unique adaptation to an aquatic lifestyle. The Cretaceous period also witnessed the appearance and diversification of advanced bird species. These early avian creatures had evolved from their dinosaur ancestors and began to display more bird-like features, including feathers and the ability to fly. However, the Cretaceous period came to an abrupt end with the devastating Chicxulub impact, causing the mass extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs and numerous other species. This event marked the end of the Mesozoic era and opened the door for the rise of mammals and the eventual emergence of humans. In conclusion, the Mesozoic era is characterized by the incredible diversity and dominance of dinosaurs. The Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods showcased the evolution and adaptation of dinosaurs to different environments and ecological niches. From the early small bipedal dinosaurs of the Triassic to the enormous herbivores and fearsome predators of the Jurassic and Cretaceous, these incredible creatures ruled the Earth for millions of years. Their legacy lives on in the form of fossilized remains, inspiring awe and curiosity about the remarkable history of our planet. The Triassic period, spanning from approximately 251 to 201 million years ago, marked a critical time in Earth's history. It was a period of significant changes, including the recovery from the mass extinction event at the end of the Permian period and the emergence of new forms of life. In this overview, we will delve into the fascinating world of the Triassic period and the remarkable events and organisms that shaped this era. At the start of the Triassic period, Earth was a vastly different place compared to the preceding Permian period. 
the mass extinction event that occurred at the end of the Permian had wiped out around 90% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial species. This allowed for new opportunities and the emergence of new organisms to fill the ecological niches left vacant by the extinct species. The early Triassic environment was characterized by arid and desolate landscapes. Many of the previously dominant plant groups, such as the giant ferns and horsetails, had been greatly reduced in abundance. However, new plant groups, including early conifers, cycads, and ginkgos, began to flourish in this changing environment. These plants played a crucial role in shaping the ecosystems and providing food sources for the emerging animal life. One of the most significant developments during the Triassic period was the diversification of reptiles. Reptiles began to occupy various ecological niches, adapting to both terrestrial and aquatic habitats. The early dinosaurs, characterized by their upright posture and bipedal locomotion, started to emerge and diversify during this time. These early dinosaurs were relatively small compared to their later relatives but laid the groundwork for the incredible diversity that would come in the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. Another notable group of reptiles that emerged during the Triassic period were the archosaurs, a group that includes dinosaurs, crocodiles, and birds. The archosaurs were distinguished by their upright stance and a more efficient means of walking compared to their sprawling reptile counterparts. This allowed them to become more successful in their hunting and foraging strategies. In addition to the reptilian evolution, the Triassic period saw the rise of other fascinating creatures. One notable group was the Verapsids, which were mammal-like reptiles. These the Rapsids displayed characteristics that foreshadowed the features of modern mammals, such as differentiated teeth and more efficient jaw mechanisms. Marine life also underwent a transformation during the Triassic period. Ammonoids, a group of cephalopods similar to modern-day nautiluses, flourished and diversified in the oceans. These shelled creatures occupied various ecological roles and left behind a rich fossil record, providing valuable insights into the ancient marine ecosystems. As the Triassic period progressed, the Earth's climate began to shift. The arid conditions that prevailed during the early Triassic gave way to more humid and tropical environments. This transition allowed for the expansion of forests and the diversification of plant life, creating new habitats for both terrestrial and aquatic organisms. The end of the Triassic period was marked by another significant event known as the Triassic-Jurassic Extinction Event. While not as severe as the mass extinction event at the end of the Permian, this event still resulted in the loss of several important groups of organisms, including some large amphibians and marine reptiles. This extinction event paved the way for the rise of the dinosaurs and the subsequent dominance of the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. In conclusion, the Triassic period was a transformative time in Earth's history. It witnessed the recovery of ecosystems after the devastating Permian mass extinction, the emergence of early dinosaurs and archosaurs, and the diversification of plant and marine life. This period laid the foundation for the incredible diversity and dominance of the Mesozoic era, setting the stage for the spectacular events and organisms that would follow in the subsequent Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. The Jurassic period, spanning from approximately 201 to 145 million years ago, is often referred to as the Golden Age of Dinosaurs. It was a time of significant geological and biological changes, characterized by lush landscapes, diverse ecosystems, and the emergence of iconic dinosaur species. In this overview, we will explore the remarkable events and organisms that shaped the Jurassic period. During the Jurassic period, Earth's climate was generally warm and humid, creating ideal conditions for the proliferation of plant life. Vast forests of ferns, cycads, and conifers covered the land, providing abundant food sources for the herbivorous dinosaurs that roamed the Earth. This lush vegetation supported a diverse array of organisms and set the stage for the incredible diversity of life during this era. One of the defining features of the Jurassic period was the rise of gigantic herbivorous dinosaurs. These colossal creatures dominated the landscape, reaching lengths of up to 90 feet 27 meters, and weights of several tons. 
Among the most iconic of these herbivores were the long-necked sauropods, such as Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus, and Apatosaurus. These majestic giants utilized their long necks and tails to reach high vegetation, consuming vast quantities of plants to sustain their immense size. Carnivorous dinosaurs also thrived during the Jurassic period. Apex predators like Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus roamed the land, preying on smaller dinosaurs and other animals. These fierce hunters possessed sharp teeth, powerful jaws, and an array of adaptations that allowed them to pursue and capture their prey with deadly precision. The Jurassic Seas were teeming with life, hosting a variety of marine reptiles and invertebrates. Plesiosaurs, with their long necks and paddle-like limbs, patrolled the oceans, while ichthyosaurs, resembling dolphin-like creatures, swiftly glided through the water. Ammonites, a group of spiral-shelled cephalopods, were abundant and diverse, leaving behind an extensive fossil record that provides valuable insights into ancient marine ecosystems. The skies of the Jurassic period were ruled by pterosaurs, flying reptiles with wingspans that ranged from a few feet to over 30 feet, 9 meters. Pterosaurs, like the well-known pteranodon, were highly adapted for aerial life, possessing lightweight bones, membranous wings, and a diverse range of body sizes and shapes. These prehistoric aviators soared above the landscapes, hunting for fish and other small prey. The Jurassic period also witnessed the emergence of early birds, the descendants of small, feathered theropod dinosaurs. These primitive birds, such as Archaeopteryx, exhibited features of both reptiles and modern birds, including feathers, beaks, and the ability to fly. They represent a crucial transition in the evolutionary history of birds, laying the foundation for the incredible diversity of avian species we see today. Geologically, the Jurassic period was marked by the formation of new mountain ranges, the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea, and the opening of the Atlantic Ocean. These tectonic movements contributed to the creation of diverse habitats and played a role in shaping the distribution of organisms across the planet. The end of the Jurassic period was marked by environmental changes and the transition to the following Cretaceous period. These changes, including shifts in climate and sea levels, impacted the composition of ecosystems and set the stage for the rise of new species and the eventual extinction of others. In conclusion, the Jurassic period was a time of great significance in Earth's history. It was a period of remarkable biodiversity with towering herbivorous dinosaurs, fearsome carnivores, marine reptiles, flying pterosaurs, and early birds. The lush landscapes, diverse ecosystems, and geological transformations of the Jurassic period set the stage for the subsequent periods of the Mesozoic era, leaving behind a legacy of fossilized remains and captivating our imagination with the wonders of prehistoric life. The Cretaceous period, spanning from approximately 145 to 66 million years ago, was the final period of the Mesozoic era. It was a time of significant geological, climatic, and biological changes, marked by the dominance and diversification of dinosaurs. In this overview, we will explore the remarkable events and organisms that shaped the Cretaceous period. The Cretaceous period witnessed the continued breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea, leading to the gradual separation of land masses into the familiar shapes we recognize today. This tectonic activity resulted in the formation of new mountain ranges, the opening of the Atlantic Ocean, and the reshaping of terrestrial and marine environments. One of the defining features of the Cretaceous period was the incredible diversity of dinosaurs. During this time, dinosaurs evolved into a wide range of forms, occupying various ecological niches. Gigantic herbivorous dinosaurs, such as Triceratops and Hadrosaurs, roamed the landscapes, utilizing their unique adaptations, such as horns, frills, and specialized teeth, to feed on vegetation and defend against predators. Among the carnivorous dinosaurs, the Cretaceous period saw the rise of some of the most fearsome predators in history. The iconic Tyrannosaurus rex, with its massive size and powerful jaws, reigned as the apex predator of the time. Other formidable predators, including the Spinosaurus and the Gigantosaurus, hunted and competed for resources in their respective habitats. 
the marine realm of the Cretaceous period was equally fascinating, with the seas teeming with a diverse array of marine reptiles. Plesiosaurs continued to thrive, evolving into various forms, from long-necked and short-necked varieties to specialized feeders. Mosasaurs, large marine reptiles resembling modern-day monitor lizards, dominated the oceans, showcasing adaptations that allowed them to be highly efficient swimmers and successful predators. The skies of the Cretaceous period were inhabited by pterosaurs, which diversified into a range of sizes and ecological roles. Some pterosaurs, like Pteranodon, had enormous wingspans and specialized beaks for capturing fish, while others, such as the Tapahara, had elaborate crests and may have been able to soar for extended periods. While dinosaurs were the dominant terrestrial creatures, the Cretaceous period also witnessed the rise and diversification of other organisms. Mammals, though still small and relatively inconspicuous, began to occupy various ecological niches. They coexisted with the dinosaurs, taking advantage of available resources and gradually evolving to adapt to changing environments. Plant life during the Cretaceous period exhibited a wide range of diversity and adaptation. The world was characterized by lush forests of conifers, cycads, and ferns, similar to the preceding periods. However, angiosperms, or flowering plants, began to dominate the landscape during this time, introducing a new type of vegetation that would have far-reaching effects on ecosystems and contribute to the diversification of herbivorous dinosaurs and other organisms. The end of the Cretaceous period is marked by one of the most significant events in Earth's history, the Cretaceous Paleogene KPG, extinction event. Approximately 66 million years ago, a colossal asteroid, estimated to be around 6 miles 10 kilometers, in diameter, collided with the Earth near the present-day Yucatan Peninsula. The impact resulted in a global catastrophe, causing widespread devastation and the extinction of numerous species, including the non-avian dinosaurs. The KPG extinction event marked the end of the Cretaceous period and the Mesozoic era, opening the door for the rise of mammals and the eventual emergence of humans. It paved the way for significant ecological and evolutionary changes, reshaping the composition of life on Earth. In conclusion, the Cretaceous period was a time of incredible diversity and change. It witnessed the dominance and diversification of dinosaurs, the evolution of marine reptiles and flying reptiles, and the rise of flowering plants and early mammals. The geological, climatic, and biological events of the Cretaceous period played a pivotal role in shaping the world we know today and left behind a rich fossil record that continues to captivate scientists and enthusiasts alike. Tyrannosaurus rex, often abbreviated as T. rex, is one of the most iconic and well-known dinosaurs that ever roamed the Earth. With its massive size, powerful jaws, and fearsome reputation, T. rex has captured the imagination of people around the world. In this overview, we will explore the fascinating features, behavior, and significance of this remarkable dinosaur. Tyrannosaurus rex lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 68 to 66 million years ago. It inhabited what is now North America, particularly the western regions of the continent. Rex was a member of the theropod group of dinosaurs, characterized by their bipedal stance, sharp teeth, and carnivorous diet. One of the most distinctive features of T. Rex was its immense size. It is estimated that fully grown individuals could reach lengths of up to 40 feet, 12 meters, and stand about 15 to 20 feet, 4, 6 to 6 meters, tall at the hips. Rex is a subject of scientific debate, but it is believed to have ranged between 7 to 9 tons, 6. Rex was large and robust, measuring around 5 feet, 1.5 meters, in length. 
It was equipped with numerous sharp, serrated teeth, some measuring up to 9 inches, 23 centimeters, in length. These teeth were specially adapted for slicing through flesh and bone, allowing T. Rex to be an efficient predator. Rex had short, yet powerful, forelimbs with two-fingered hands. Despite their small size relative to the rest of its body, these arms were well-muscled and capable of grasping prey or providing stability during movement. The hind limbs were long and robust, allowing for swift and agile locomotion. The diet of Tyrannosaurus rex consisted primarily of other dinosaurs. It was a top predator of its time, occupying the apex of the food chain. Rex likely hunted and fed on a variety of herbivorous dinosaurs, such as Triceratops and Edmontosaurus. Its powerful jaws and sharp teeth allowed it to deliver devastating bites, inflicting fatal injuries on its prey. The lifestyle and behavior of T. Rex have been subjects of scientific speculation and study. Rex was an active predator, capable of high-speed pursuits and bursts of agility. Its keen senses, including excellent vision and a highly developed sense of smell, would have aided in tracking and locating prey. There is also evidence to suggest that T. Rex may have been a scavenger, opportunistically feeding on carcasses left behind by other predators or animals that died of natural causes. This scavenging behavior would have allowed T. Rex to capitalize on available resources and survive during times when fresh prey was scarce. Rex likely lived in a variety of environments, including forests, swamps, and plains. Fossil evidence suggests that it inhabited diverse ecosystems, adapting to different habitats and climates. Its strong, robust body and powerful legs would have allowed it to navigate and survive in various terrains. The discovery of numerous T. Rex fossils, including nearly complete skeletons, has provided scientists with valuable insights into the anatomy, physiology, and evolution of this iconic dinosaur. These fossils have contributed to our understanding of dinosaur behavior, growth rates, and the interplay between different species that coexisted during the late Cretaceous. Tyrannosaurus rex holds a significant place in popular culture, often depicted as the ultimate dinosaur predator. In conclusion, Tyrannosaurus rex is a dinosaur that has captivated our imagination for decades. Triceratops, meaning, three-horned face, is one of the most recognizable and well-known dinosaurs that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 68 to 66 million years ago. With its distinctive appearance and iconic horns, Triceratops has captured the imagination of people around the world. In this overview, we will delve into the fascinating features, behavior, and significance of this remarkable dinosaur. Triceratops was a member of the Ceratopsidae family, which includes other horned dinosaurs. It inhabited what is now North America, particularly the western regions of the continent. Triceratops is characterized by its large size, massive skull, and the three prominent horns on its face. One of the most striking features of Triceratops is its skull, which could measure up to 8 feet, 2. 5 meters, in length. The most prominent feature of the skull is a large bony frill at the back, which provided protection and support for the neck muscles. On the frill, Triceratops had two long brow horns above its eyes and a shorter horn on its nose. The function of these horns has been the subject of scientific speculation, it is believed that the brow horns may have been used for defense against predators or for intraspecies combat during mating rituals. The nose horn, while shorter, would have still been capable of delivering a formidable blow. These horns, combined with the sheer size and weight of Triceratops, would have made it a formidable adversary. Triceratops had a large, bulky body, measuring up to 30 feet, 9 meters, in length and weighing several tons. Its four sturdy legs and broad feet allowed for stable movement and supported its weight. The hind legs were longer and more robust than the front legs, 
enabling Triceratops to move efficiently on both two and four limbs. The diet of Triceratops consisted primarily of vegetation. It was a herbivorous dinosaur, feeding on plants such as ferns, cycads, and other low-lying vegetation. Triceratops had a specialized dental structure, with rows of teeth arranged in a manner that allowed for efficient grinding of plant material. This dental adaptation, along with its powerful jaws and beak-like mouth, helped Triceratops process and digest tough plant matter. Triceratops likely lived in herds, with individuals congregating together for protection and social interaction. These herds may have consisted of both adults and younger individuals, providing opportunities for learning and social bonding. The large size and defensive features of Triceratops, such as its horns and frill, would have served as deterrents against potential predators. The presence of fossilized footprints and trackways suggests that Triceratops may have migrated or moved in search of resources. These movements would have been influenced by factors such as food availability, climate conditions, and the need to find suitable nesting and breeding grounds. The extinction of Triceratops, along with many other dinosaur species, occurred at the end of the Cretaceous period. The exact cause of the extinction event is still a subject of scientific debate, but it is widely believed that a combination of factors, including climate change and the impact of a large asteroid, played a role in the demise of these ancient creatures. The discovery of numerous Triceratops fossils, including complete skulls and skeletons, has provided scientists with valuable insights into the anatomy, behavior, and evolution of this iconic dinosaur. These fossils have contributed to our understanding of the diverse and dynamic ecosystems that existed during the late Cretaceous and the interplay between different species. Triceratops holds a significant place in popular culture, often depicted in books, films, and other media as a symbol of prehistoric times. Its unique appearance and defensive features have made it a favorite among dinosaur enthusiasts of all ages, inspiring awe and curiosity about the ancient world. In conclusion, Triceratops is an extraordinary dinosaur that has left a lasting impression on our understanding of the prehistoric world. With its distinctive horns, massive skull, and formidable size, it represents a fascinating chapter in the history of life on Earth. Through the study of fossils and ongoing scientific research, we continue to uncover more about the life, behavior, and significance of this iconic dinosaur shedding light on the diverse and awe-inspiring creatures that once roamed our planet. Pterodactyls, often referred to as pterosaurs, were a group of flying reptiles that lived during the Mesozoic era, specifically the late Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. They are not technically classified as dinosaurs but are closely related to them. Pterodactyls were the first vertebrates to evolve powered flight, and they played a crucial role in the ancient skies. In this overview, we will explore the fascinating features, behavior, and significance of these remarkable creatures. Pterodactyls possessed a unique and striking anatomy that allowed them to take to the skies. They had lightweight bodies, hollow bones, and an elongated fourth finger, which supported a membranous wing structure. This wing structure, known as the pteroid, stretched from the body to the tip of the elongated finger, creating a large wing surface for flight. Pterodactyls also had a short tail and a long neck, providing balance and maneuverability during flight. The wingspan of pterodactyls varied greatly among different species, ranging from a few feet to over 30 feet, 9 meters. This range of sizes is unparalleled in the history of flying organisms. Some of the largest species, such as Quetzalcoatlus, were as tall as a giraffe and had wingspans comparable to that of a small plane. Pterodactyls had diverse feeding habits, with different species adapted to different diets. Some were piscivorous, meaning they primarily ate fish and had elongated jaws with sharp, pointed teeth for capturing and holding slippery prey. Others were carnivorous, feeding on small animals or scavenging on carcasses. Some pterodactyls were even herbivorous, using their beaks and teeth to gather and consume plant matter. These flying reptiles occupied a wide range of habitats, from coastal regions to inland environments. Fossil evidence suggests that they were well adapted for various ecological niches. 
Some species frequented marine environments, using their wings to skim the water surface and snatch fish. Others preferred forested areas, where they could glide between trees and capture insects or small vertebrates. Despite their impressive aerial abilities, pterodactyls had limitations. They were not capable of powered flight like birds, but rather relied on gliding and soaring. Their wingspan and wing structure allowed them to catch thermals and ride air currents, conserving energy while covering large distances. Pterodactyls likely used their strong wings and specialized flight adaptations to take advantage of different atmospheric conditions and exploit diverse food sources. Pterodactyls exhibited a wide range of social behaviors. Fossilized trackways show evidence of group flights, suggesting that they may have migrated or traveled in flocks. Some species may have engaged in elaborate courtship displays, using their striking crests or colorations to attract mates. Parental care was also likely present, with adults caring for and protecting their young. The extinction of pterodactyls occurred at the end of the Cretaceous period, along with the non-avian dinosaurs. The exact cause of their extinction is still a subject of scientific debate. It is believed that a combination of environmental changes, climate shifts, and the impact of a large asteroid played a role in their demise. The study of pterodactyl fossils has provided valuable insights into the biology and evolution of these ancient flyers. Scientists have uncovered remarkable details about their anatomy, flight adaptations, and ecological roles. Additionally, the study of pterodactyls has contributed to our understanding of the evolution of flight and the diversity of life during the Mesozoic era. In popular culture, pterodactyls are often portrayed as fearsome creatures, soaring through prehistoric skies. Their impressive size, unique features, and ability to conquer the air have made them popular subjects in books, films, and other forms of media. However, it is important to note that pterodactyls were not dinosaurs but a separate group of reptiles that played a significant role in the ancient skies. In conclusion, pterodactyls were remarkable flying reptiles that inhabited the skies during the Mesozoic era. With their unique wing structure, diverse feeding habits, and adaptation to different environments, they were important components of prehistoric ecosystems. Through the study of their fossils and ongoing scientific research, we continue to gain insights into the biology, behavior, and significance of these awe-inspiring creatures that once soared above our planet. Velociraptor, meaning, swift thief, in Latin, is a genus of small to medium-sized theropod dinosaurs that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 75 to 71 million years ago. Velociraptor is perhaps best known for its appearance in the popular Jurassic Park franchise, where it was portrayed as an intelligent and highly dangerous predator. In this overview, we will explore the fascinating features, behavior, and significance of Velociraptor. Velociraptor was a dromaeosaurid dinosaur, belonging to a group of theropods characterized by their sharp, curved claws on their hind limbs and their bird-like skeletal features. It measured about 6 feet 2 meters in length, with a slender, lightweight body. Despite its relatively small size, Velociraptor was a formidable predator, capable of swift and agile movements. One of the most distinctive features of Velociraptor is the enlarged sickle-shaped claw on its second toe. This curved claw, measuring up to 3, 5 inches, 9 centimeters, in length, was a formidable weapon used to slash and disembowel prey. The claw was held off the ground while walking, preventing it from getting blunt and ensuring its sharpness for hunting. Velociraptor had a long, narrow skull with sharp, serrated teeth designed for tearing flesh. Its jaws were lined with rows of these teeth, which were continuously replaced as they wore down or broke. This dental adaptation allowed Velociraptor to maintain an efficient biting and tearing mechanism, making it highly effective at subduing and consuming its prey. The diet of Velociraptor consisted mainly of small to medium-sized animals, including other dinosaurs, mammals, and reptiles. While it is often portrayed as a predator of larger herbivorous dinosaurs, such as Protoceratops, the evidence for such interactions is limited. 
Nonetheless, studies of fossilized stomach contents and tooth marks on bones suggest that Velociraptor was an opportunistic hunter, feeding on a variety of available prey. One of the most intriguing aspects of Velociraptor is the suggestion that it may have exhibited pack behavior. Fossil discoveries of multiple individuals in close proximity suggest that they may have hunted cooperatively, much like modern-day wolves. This theory is supported by the discovery of a famous fossil specimen known as the Fighting Dinosaurs, where a Velociraptor is preserved in combat with a Protoceratops. Velociraptor likely lived in diverse habitats, including forests, plains, and coastal areas. Its long legs and agile body would have allowed it to navigate various environments with ease. Fossil evidence suggests that it had feathers, further connecting it to the lineage of birds and hinting at its potential for flight-related behaviors or thermoregulation. The extinction of Velociraptor, along with other non-avian dinosaurs, occurred at the end of the Cretaceous period, approximately 66 million years ago. The cause of their extinction is widely attributed to a combination of factors, including climate change, habitat loss, and the catastrophic impact of a large asteroid or comet. The discovery of Velociraptor fossils, particularly in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia, has provided valuable insights into the biology and behavior of these dinosaurs. Fossils have revealed details about their skeletal structure, soft tissue preservation, and even traces of feathers, allowing scientists to reconstruct their appearance with greater accuracy. In popular culture, Velociraptor has become an iconic dinosaur, known for its intelligence, agility, and ferocity. Its depiction in movies and other media has captured the public's imagination, sparking interest in the world of dinosaurs and contributing to the ongoing fascination with these prehistoric creatures. In conclusion, Velociraptor is a remarkable dinosaur that showcases the diversity and complexity of life during the late Cretaceous period. With its sharp claws, serrated teeth, and potential pack-hunting behavior, it was a formidable predator in its ecosystem. Through the study of fossils and ongoing scientific research, we continue to uncover more about the life, behavior, and significance of this iconic dinosaur, shedding light on the fascinating world of the Mesozoic era. Spinosaurus, the enigmatic giant of the Cretaceous. Spinosaurus, meaning, spine lizard, is an extraordinary dinosaur that captivates the imagination with its unique features and mysterious nature. Known for its massive sail-like structure on its back, Spinosaurus holds a special place in paleontological research and our understanding of prehistoric life. In this essay, we will delve into the world of Spinosaurus, exploring its physical characteristics, habitat, behavior, and the ongoing scientific discoveries that continue to shape our knowledge of this enigmatic creature. Belonging to the family Spinosauridae, Spinosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 112 to 93. It roamed the ancient river systems and coastal regions of what is now North Africa, specifically the area that is modern-day Morocco and Egypt. The first Spinosaurus fossils were discovered in Egypt by German paleontologist Ernst Stromer in the early 20th century, but unfortunately, those specimens were destroyed during World War II bombings. Since then, additional fossil findings have shed new light on this intriguing dinosaur. One of the defining features of Spinosaurus is its remarkable sail-like structure. The sail, made up of elongated spines connected to its vertebrae, could reach up to 2 meters in height. The purpose of this sail is still a subject of scientific debate. It has been suggested that the sail may have served as a thermoregulatory feature, helping the dinosaur regulate its body temperature. Alternatively, the sail may have played a role in display or communication, possibly as a means of attracting mates or intimidating rivals. Spinosaurus was an impressive creature, reaching lengths of up to 15 to 18 meters, 49 to 59 feet, and estimated to weigh between 6 and 12 tons. Its elongated snout was filled with sharp, conical teeth, indicating a diet primarily composed of fish and other aquatic prey. This makes Spinosaurus one of the few known dinosaurs that was adapted for an aquatic lifestyle, 
akin to modern-day crocodiles. Its long, narrow jaws and sharp teeth were perfect for snatching fish from the water, while its streamlined body and strong limbs allowed it to navigate through its watery habitat. The habitat of Spinosaurus consisted of vast river systems and marshy environments, likely featuring lush vegetation and an abundance of fish. It is believed that this dinosaur was well suited for a semi-aquatic lifestyle, using its powerful tail to propel itself through the water. The presence of robust forelimbs, each bearing a large claw, further supports the notion that Spinosaurus was capable of actively pursuing and catching fish in its aquatic environment. While much is still being discovered about Spinosaurus, its behavior and social structure remain somewhat speculative. Based on its physical features and ecological adaptations, it is thought that Spinosaurus may have been a solitary predator, relying on stealth and ambush tactics to capture its prey. It likely shared its environment with other dinosaurs such as the herbivorous Aranosaurus and the large theropod Carcharodontosaurus, leading to potential competition for resources and territorial disputes. Despite the ongoing research and significant discoveries made regarding Spinosaurus, many aspects of its biology and lifestyle continue to elude scientists. The incomplete nature of the fossil record and the challenges in reconstructing its behavior and habitat make it a subject of ongoing study and debate in the field of paleontology. In conclusion, Spinosaurus stands as a remarkable and enigmatic dinosaur that pushes the boundaries of our understanding of prehistoric life. With its iconic sail and unique adaptations for an aquatic lifestyle, this giant predator provides a fascinating glimpse into the diverse array of dinosaurs that once roamed the Earth. As ongoing scientific research continues to unravel the mysteries surrounding Spinosaurus, we eagerly anticipate the revelations that lie ahead, further enriching our knowledge of the ancient world and the captivating creatures that inhabited it. Microraptor, the miniature marvel of the Mesozoic era. Microraptor, meaning, tiny thief, is a captivating dinosaur that challenges our preconceptions about the appearance and capabilities of these ancient creatures. With its unique combination of bird-like features and flight adaptations, Microraptor provides valuable insights into the evolution of flight in dinosaurs. In this essay, we will explore the world of Microraptor, examining its physical characteristics, its role in paleontological research, and its significance in our understanding of avian evolution. Microraptor lived during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 120 to 125 million years ago, in what is now China. The first fossil specimens of Microraptor were discovered in 2000 by paleontologists from the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology in Beijing. Since then, numerous well-preserved fossils have been unearthed, shedding light on the intriguing characteristics of this remarkable dinosaur. One of the most striking features of Microraptor is its unique plumage. The presence of long feathers on its arms, legs, and tail suggests that Microraptor possessed the ability to glide or perhaps even fly. This has significant implications for our understanding of the origins of flight in dinosaurs and the evolution of avian species. Microraptor's feathers were asymmetrical, similar to those found in modern birds, indicating adaptations for aerodynamic control and lift. This suggests that Microraptor may have been capable of active, controlled flight, albeit in a more primitive form than the flight seen in modern birds. Microraptor was a small dinosaur, measuring around 70 to 90 centimeters, 27 to 35 inches, in length, with a wingspan of approximately 80 centimeters, 31 inches. Its body was slender and lightweight, well suited for gliding through the forest canopy. It had sharp, curved claws on its hands and feet, indicating adaptations for perching and grasping onto branches. This suggests that Microraptor likely spent a significant amount of time in trees, using its gliding abilities to move between branches and perhaps even to capture prey. The diet of Microraptor is still a topic of scientific investigation, its sharp teeth and claws suggest that it may have been a carnivorous predator, feeding on small vertebrates and insects. It is possible that Microraptor employed an ambush hunting strategy, using its agility and flight adaptations to surprise and capture its prey. 
the discovery of Microraptor has had profound implications for our understanding of the evolution of flight in dinosaurs. Prior to its discovery, the prevailing theory was that the ancestors of birds evolved flight by first becoming proficient at gliding. Microraptor's unique combination of bird-like feathers and gliding adaptations supports this hypothesis and provides evidence for an arboreal lifestyle and early stages of flight. Microraptor represents an important transitional form between non-avian dinosaurs and modern birds, highlighting the intricate evolutionary steps that led to the development of powered flight. The presence of Microraptor and other feathered dinosaurs in China has also sparked debates and discussions about the relationship between birds and their dinosaur ancestors. The abundance of feathered dinosaur fossils in China suggests that feathers were not exclusive to birds but were also present in non-avian dinosaurs. This challenges the traditional view of birds as a distinct group separate from other dinosaurs and supports the theory that birds are a branch of theropod dinosaurs. In conclusion, Microraptor stands as a miniature marvel of the Mesozoic era, offering invaluable insights into the evolution of flight and the interconnectedness of dinosaurs and avian species. Its bird-like feathers, gliding adaptations, and arboreal lifestyle provide significant evidence for the evolutionary steps that ultimately led to the development of powered flight. As ongoing research continues to uncover new findings, Microraptor remains a crucial link in the complex story of avian evolution, further expanding our knowledge of the fascinating world of dinosaurs. Pachycephalosaurus, the dome-headed champion of the late Cretaceous. Pachycephalosaurus, meaning, thick-headed lizard, is a dinosaur that captures the imagination with its unique appearance and intriguing behavior. Known for its thick, bony skull, this dinosaur provides valuable insights into the diversity and adaptations of dinosaurs during the late Cretaceous period. In this essay, we will explore the world of Pachycephalosaurus, examining its physical characteristics, habitat, behavior, and its significance in our understanding of dinosaur evolution. Pachycephalosaurus lived approximately 70 to 60 